This training video demonstrates how to perform focused shockwave therapy. Prior to the therapy, it is necessary to start with a patient consultation. Ask the patient for the detailed description of health problems and inquire about the most important points in anamnesis. Offer the solution. Explain that focused shockwave is a non-invasive method. High-energy shockwaves spread the energy through damaged tissues and cause cell stimulation. This leads to the reparation of damaged tissues such as tendons, bones, joints, muscles and pain relief. Therapy is well tolerated by the vast majority of patients. Some patients might feel a slight discomfort if applied in the bony area. Assure the patient that this is a normal reaction to the therapy. Prior to the therapy, inquire about all contraindications and medicaments that patient uses regularly. The most important contraindications are blood disorders, coagulation problems, thrombosis, polyneuropathy, acute inflammation, pregnancy or cancer. However, do not forget to consult the operator's manual for the full list of contraindications, warnings and cautions. Continue with thorough examination of the patient based on the health problem. What should be prepared before starting the therapy? Ensure the patient is in the most comfortable position. The most preferable is a stabilized lying position. Choose a suitable coupling pad according to the depth of impaired tissue. There are three sizes of coupling pads which allow for treatment of tissues lying in the depth within range of 0 to 65 mm. Open the applicator and apply the gel on the lens surface. Spread the gel and make sure that there are no air bubbles. Otherwise, the energy transfer to the patient's body is less efficient. Use the lock ring to fix the coupling pad. We provide you with a set of presets which were created based on the available scientific research and recommended parameters. Choose the most suitable preset according to patient's condition. Find out more about presets by clicking on the icon of Therapeutic Encyclopedia. Now it is time to start the therapy. Apply sufficient amount of gel in the treated area. Always initiate and finish the therapy outside of the patient's body by using the Therapy Start-Stop button on the applicator. Initiate the therapy with low intensity and adjust it according to the patient's feedback. You can adjust therapy parameters anytime during the therapy on the applicator display or from the main unit. Let's learn about therapy techniques. There are two types of therapy techniques, static and dynamic. Dynamic therapy technique includes swiveling and painting movements. Herein we provide you with different indications where you can see the therapy application principles. Painful shoulder. Make sure that tendon is gently stretched but not in a painful position. Apply full contact therapy and perform swiveling movements in the most painful spot and its proximity. You can continue with the painting technique to treat the surrounding area. Epicondylitis Make sure that the tendon is gently stretched but not in a painful position. Apply full contact therapy and perform swiveling movements in the most painful spot and its proximity. You can continue with the painting technique to treat the surrounding area. Heel spur or plantar fasciitis. The tendon can be in a relaxed position or gently stretched, but not in a painful position. 
apply full contact therapy and perform swiveling movements in the most painful spot and its proximity. You can continue with the painting technique to treat the surrounding area. Tibial non-union. Make sure that the patient is in a relaxed position. Use the pillow to slightly bend the knees. Apply full contact therapy and perform only static application in the place of unhealed fracture. Patella tendinopathy. The tendon can be in a relaxed position or gently stretched, but not in a painful position. Use the pillow to slightly bend the knees. Apply full contact therapy and perform swiveling movements in the most painful spot and its proximity. You can continue with the painting technique to treat the surrounding area. Femoral non-union. The leg should be in a relaxed position. Use the pillow to slightly bend the knees. Apply full contact therapy and perform only static application in the place of unhealed fracture. Hip pain and a vascular necrosis. The leg should be in a relaxed and neutral position. Apply full contact therapy and perform swiveling movements in the most painful spot and its proximity. You can continue with the painting technique to treat the surrounding area. Here are recommendations to follow after the therapy. Focused shockwave therapy procedure should be completed with gentle rehabilitation including stretching, manual medicine techniques such as joint mobilization or stabilization. The patient should avoid intense physical effort and activities within the next two days. Check out the most common mistakes to avoid. The applicator is not in full contact with the patient. There is no gel in the treated area. There is no gel on the lens surface. The air bubbles were not eliminated from the lens surface. Now it is time to learn about maintenance. Clean and disinfect all accessories after each patient. Clean the gel from the lens surface by using moistured tissue. Do so after each patient. Learn about therapy modes and settings. Two therapy types are available, single therapy or sequence. Single therapy allows setting intensity, frequency and number of shocks. The sequence consists of multiple parts which allow setting intensity, frequency and a number of shocks separately. Intensity, in other words, energy flux density is set in percentage within the range 5 to 100%. Maximum value of energy flux density is 0.65 millijoules by millimeter squared. Frequency is settable within range of 1 to 25 Hz. Number of shocks is settable within range of 1 to 5,000 shocks. Learn how to perform shock quality test. Shock quality test is continuous monitoring of the condition of a piezoelectric crystal. In case of any mismatch, the device informs you in the message box to perform the test appears. Go to Menu. Click on Specific Settings and Shock Quality Test.
Follow further instructions directly from the device display.